Hello everyone, so now I'm going to discuss the question C. Based on the definition, on the right hand side, we will have x minus 2 equals to 10 minus 3x or x minus 2 which is equals to negative 10 minus 3x. Next, I'm going to focus on my left hand side. I'm going to rearrange the situation x plus 3x equals to 10 plus 2. So 4x will be equals to 12 and finally x will be equals to 3. Next, let's move on to the right hand side. First, I'm going to expand x minus 2 equals to negative 10 plus 3x. Next, we will have 10 minus 2 equals to 3x minus x. 8 equals to 2x, so finally, x will be equals to 4. Next, we are going to check the validity for both value. First, I'm going to substitute the value of 3 into the equation. So, for the left hand side, 3 minus 2, we will have equals to 1. So, for the right hand side, 10 minus 3 bracket with 3, we will have 1. Since the left hand side is equals to 1, same as well for the right hand side also equals to 1. So, x equals to 3 valid. Next, I'm going to substitute the value of 4 into the equation. So, for the left hand side, 4 minus 2, we have a modulus. So, our answer equals to 2. I'm going to substitute the value into the right hand side. So 10 minus 3 bracket with 4 and we will have negative 2. So we can see that for the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side. So we can ignore x equals to 4. So finally, our final answer will be x equals to 3. Now we're in question D. So based on the question, I'm going to square both sides. Square root of 3x minus 1 square. Based on the definition, and same as well for the right hand side, we have square root of x plus 5 square. So I'm going to square both sides in order to eliminate the third. Next, we will have 3x minus 1 bracket square equals to x plus 5 bracket square. The following step, I'm going to expand. So where we have 9x square minus 6x plus 1 equals to x square plus 10x plus 25. Next, I'm going to rearrange the situation and at the same time, I'm going to simplify. So 9x square minus with x square, we will have 8x square. Then negative 16x minus 24 equals to 0. Next, I'm going to divide both sides with the value 8. So we will have x square minus 2x minus 3 equals to 0. My following step would be factorization x minus 3 x plus 1 equals to 0. So finally, we will have our answer x equals to 3 x equals to negative 1. Then we are going to test the validity. So do remember, check the validity. So in this case, both is valid. So both are the answer. Question E. Based on the definition, we will have x square plus 3x minus 2 equals to 2. Or x square plus 3x minus 2 equals to negative 2. So now I'm going to focus on my left hand side. So x square plus 3x minus 4 equals to 0. Next, I'm going to factorize the situation. So x plus 4 x minus 1 equals to 0. So x will be equals to negative 4. x will be equals to 1 for the left hand side. Next, I'm going to discuss the right hand side. Again, transfer 
the value negative 2 to the left hand side so x square plus 3x will be equals to 0 x x plus 3 equals to 0 x will be equals to 0 and x will be equals to negative 3 do remember to check the value for both sides so for this case all the values stated are valid so here we are and thanks for watching